Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel and welcome to my garage. Today we're going to rotate the tires on my Tesla Model 3 and talk about the performance of the Michelin Cross Climate 2s and stick around to the end where we compare the efficiency of the tires that came to the car with these all-season tires from Michelin. Okay, here we are at the front of the car. It's important to have one of these pucks that can be rubber like this one or they could be metal. And if you take it to a shop to have it done and don't want to spend your time doing this, um, make sure that the shop that you take it to actually has one of these. You need a jack. This is two and a quarter ton. A low profile jack would be great. This is not technically a low profile jack. Um, it, actually on the Model 3, I can't get it in the back, but I can get it up here. So let me show you how this works. The hole right here for the puck. And that's pretty tight, but it works just fine. And then just jag it up. These cars are so rigid that you can get both wheels off the ground by jacking up the front. Okay, looks like both are. The safest thing would be to use a jack stand back here because I'm not going to be under the vehicle. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. And I've done this several times before and never had a problem. Okay, here we are at the front of the car. The wheel covers have to be removed. Just like so. And then the lug nuts can be removed. It does require a 21 inch socket. You can use just a breaker bar, but I highly recommend using a impact gun if you have them. They are worth their weight in gold. And then just take it off. This is a great time to inspect the tires. Make sure that there's nothing, no holes, no screws. And I definitely don't have any with these. And I also happen to have a depth gauge here. Looks like 930 seconds. And so that's actually more wear than I was expecting on the front tire. So let's see what's on the back. Uh, these are 830 seconds. Get down to four, you're in the yellow, and then when you get down to one, you're in the red. So these are actually wearing, not wearing as well as I uh, had expected. Although you can see the tread pattern. You rotate from the back to the front and from the front to the back. My car has the same tires all the way around. When you're putting your lug nuts back on, definitely don't use the impact wrench, because if it's cross-threaded, you will have a bad day. This is a torque wrench. The Tesla specification is 129 foot-pounds of torque. I'm just going to start it now and finish tightening the lug nuts when I put it on the ground. You're just kind of getting it snug at this point. Then you'll tighten it in a star pattern, kind of skipping every other one. So there you have it. After a few miles, according to the manual, you're supposed to retorque uh, the wheels to make sure everything's okay. And while you're doing your rotation, this is a great time to check your air pressure. And the last thing to do is to add your wheel covers back. The trick here is to find where the um, valve stem goes. Line that up with the valve stem. And there you have it. And I almost forgot, in a recent update, Tesla gave us this tire service mileage uh, option here. Let's see here in the service menu. The Michelin Cross Climate 2 is an all-season tire with a 60,000 mile tread wear warranty. And as you saw with the tread wear that I have after 21,400 miles, I'm probably going to need it. 
These cars are heavy, torquey, and the go pedal is just too much fun. These tires also have the M and uh, S rating for mud and snow uh, capability, and that really just refers to the tread uh, geometry, the shape of the tread, whereas the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake that's uh, found on the tire means that the tire has been tested in medium uh, packed snow and has a certain minimum acceleration uh, capacity. Doesn't have anything to do with braking. According to Michelin, uh, the tire stops shorter than four leading competitive tires in dry and wet conditions. I found it to be slightly louder than the original tires, but I can definitely recommend these tires because they go better than any tire I have ever driven in the rain. I'm not saying hydroplaning is impossible in these, but it's very, very much reduced. I didn't really tell a performance difference in the tires relative to the Michelin Primacy uh, tires that were on the car from the factory. I purchased the tires from Discount Tire on April 29th, 2022. Uh, I had 36,000 632 miles uh, on my car. So that's how long the factory tires last. And th the price I paid was uh, around $920 for all four. So you can see here, uh, over the lifetime of my car, I've done 458,414 miles and averaged 234 watt hours per mile. So the new tires are 21,397 miles, and that's averaging about 241 uh, watt hours per mile. But of course, the lifetime, you could have to take away 21,000 um, to really get the efficiency of the new, new tires. Uh, overall, the difference that is, and I'm estimating about 5% reduction in range uh, as a result of these tires. I think it's worth it for the added traction, particularly as I said in the rain, it does incredible. And I suspect it would do incredible uh, in the snow as well. So there you have it. Other than wearing a little quickly, which is honestly pretty common for EVs, these uh, Michelin Cross Climate 2s are very, very good tires that I recommend. If you have any questions uh, about this or rotating tires or if there's any other thing I can um, answer for you, please put it down in the comments. Uh, give us a like and a subscribe would be great because we are going to do some really cool things coming forward, including road trips. We're going to try to demystify planning for and then going on uh, road trips. If you want to buy yourself a Tesla, I have my uh, referral code in the uh, description uh, of the video. And whether you use mine or someone else's, you'll want to use the referral code when you buy a Tesla because you'll get, at the time of this recording, $250 off plus three months of full self-driving subscription included for free. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.